Hickok 45 here with one of my very favorite rifles. Loading him up. 45 Colt from Federal. Nice ammo. This is a Marlin 94 in 45 Colt. That's why I'm putting 45 Colt ammo in it. I think I saw a video the other day a guy did on use the right ammo. And that's what I'm trying to do. So, you know what? It's not going not gonna to hold that 13th round. It normally does. Let's see if it'll go in. <laughs> okay, we'll go for 12. <laughs> yep, this is the Marlin 94. Uh, you've seen it, but it's been a while. A good while. Beautiful gun. I bought it in 97 to do cowboy action shooting with. And it's always been a favorite. It really has. Even though I went to the 1873 U-Birdie, uh, I don't know, a couple years later and used it almost exclusively. But I'd get this one out occasionally and I've always enjoyed shooting it. And once I put the Skinner sights on it, which make it a great rifle, it was good. That makes it great. Those were, at least at the time, illegal and not illegal, but inappropriate. Uh, broke the rules, you know, for a cowboy action shooting. So, uh, but I just, I just love this, this setup. Love this rifle. Uh, you know what? I didn't, I thought we had done a chapter two with it. And I got to looking around and I, I can't find it. If you can find it, uh, I've searched the channel. I went to that video, uh, what's it called? The FAQ video 54 about how to search somebody's channel uh, that that guy did out in uh, Monument Valley. And I searched the channel. I cannot find it. I sort of thought we had done one, but I was really happy to learn that there's not one there that I can find gave me excuse to get it back out because this is a fine uh, piece of hardware so let's just take a few shots and and do a little chapter two action with it okay right one in and let it fly whoa that was cool so was that uh, it's so easy to shoot that you uh, be careful you'll miss just from uh, being too quick See what I mean? Get a pig. Boom. How about a turkey? How about the little plate over there? No, let's go for a chicken. Boom. Go for another chicken up there. What did I tell you? The little plate. Yeah, you just can't miss with it. What about a, bu uh, not a buffalo, what's it called? A ram. I'm going to pop him high if I can. Yeah, I'll pop the other one high. Oop, no ammo. <laughs> oh, yeah, this thing is so sweet. It, uh, it almost takes the fun out of shooting. John and I were talking about that before the video because it's just easy to shoot well. And as usual, I'll preach to you about these pistol caliber carbines. If you've not tried them in lever guns or semi-autos or whatever, they're a blast. And you know, this, this chunk's a pretty good piece of lead too, uh, 250 grain or 300 if you want. You can load rounds up for this. You can buy the, uh, like the, what, Garrett's or the, I don't know, Double Tap. There's some specialty companies that I've talked about before that load really hot ammo, too hot for most handguns and 45 Colt and that kind of thing. But the Marlin rifles will handle those, and you can load your own up pretty stiff. And even Federal loads something. I think they've got one load that's, that's stiffer than these. But, but the Marlin's great for that. You can make it a, uh, I load a 300 grain uh, cast, hard cast bullet. Makes it kind of a poor man's 45.70, just as a reminder. So you've seen this out in some of the lever gun videos. We've just not done an official chapter two. And it's fun to do a chapter two here, of course, because of all this, uh, this target rich environment. But what we thought we'd do maybe is just finish the chapter two by going over to the uh, traditional chapter two range. Okay, so got my ears, I got my ears, and uh, get some ammo in my pocket. And uh, we'll just go over there and see what we can find on the other range to shoot at. You wanna come along with me, you're welcome. Oh good, glad you came along. So we're over here where we have some uh, different targets and I don't think we've shot this over here. We'll see. 
good sights and I think I have a pretty good idea where to hold so why don't we just uh, have at it good old Marlin 94 uh, 45 Colt this is uh, just a, a wonderful piece of hardware and it's the cowboy model by the way you know this is the 1894 cowboy limited so let's start out on the red plate miss it first and then miss some others after that Like I said, a miss hit first. All right, who wants to get missed first? You know, I always start on the left. Why don't we just do something different? Start on the right. <sighs> miss there first. All right. <laughs> All right. I think I will save the big one for last though. I like him. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, thought I missed him. I might keep this thing. <sighs> Got my heartbeat up walking over here. I should have sat down for about 30 minutes, right? <laughs> oh, I just had to miss him. I knew when I pulled the trigger, it was going to be a little to the right. Yeah, I knew that was right on too. Well, let's try the big one. Tall one. Same uh, width, just taller. Oh, I got him low. We'll try to get him a little higher. There we go. <laughs> On the last round. Man, this thing is cool. Uh, you know, uh, speaking of uh, getting your heart rate up and everything, I'll give you another little tip. No charge for this one. I generally don't charge for these little asides. Uh, even though, now it is better if you're not you know, having just exercise and you're trying to hold a sight steady, of course, but it still comes down to the fact that nobody can hold a sight perfectly still. Uh, no matter whether you've been sitting around or you've been running, you know, nobody can hold one perfectly still. So it is a matter of coordinating the, the squeeze, the pull of the trigger when the sights are on target and you're trying to get the trigger break just at the right instant either way. Whether you're shaking around a lot or you're just moving around a little bit, it, it's still not like just because you're uh, relaxed that it's, it's locked in. Oh, it's fun shooting a firearm that you really like and the sights are right on and uh, you tend to hit most of the time with it. It's, uh, I guess it's, it's all our goal, right, with whatever firearms we have to get the sights on and be able to hit with them. How many have I put in this thing? This assault rifle. That's enough. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a two liter hiding down there on that hill. Let's start with him. <laughs> All right. Nice. A little cinder activity over there left.
Okay, yeah, it's a little to the right, I think. And the little red plate. And the big red plate. All right. And these three guys right here. <laughs> and the red plate again. And the gong over there. <laughs> End on a gong. And we've got a couple of rounds left. Uh, well, let's just shoot them. What the heck? <laughs> you know, it is a cowboy assault rifle, isn't it? Oh, man. Uh, would you all mind if I did a video every week with this rifle? Think you could stand it? You know, there are just some firearms uh, you have a special fondness for. And uh, I'm fortunate that I have several that fall into that category, really. And because of that, some of them get a little bit neglected until I get my hands on them and am reminded all over again. And I, I took this thing out not long ago, just on a hike around the, the place and did some planking and was reminded that, wow, what a, what a wonderful rifle. And uh, it was great for cowboy action shooting. In fact, this was a very popular model when I was doing it uh, in, in that, that game. It really was and probably still is uh, you know, pretty uh, common, be my guess. So the uh, Cowboy Limited, a little Chapter 2 action. And uh, like I said earlier, it's almost, it's not boring, but it's just so easy to shoot well. It really is. It's just a marvelous rifle. And I don't even have to say it, but life is good. We'd like to thank one of our sponsors, SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. SDI has fully accredited distance learning programs where you can get certified in gunsmithing or even an associate's degree in firearms technology. Of course, the study includes hands-on experience, which is important, of course. So check it out. Uh, go to sdi.edu or just click on the link in the description. Okay? And also, we'd like to remind you to check out the Hickok 45 Facebook page and the Hickok 45 and Sun channel and its Facebook page as well as Gun Culture Radio on iTunes. Now remember all this because I'm coming to your house randomly over the next year or two to give you a quiz on it. Okay? Thank you.